All right, guys, now we're gonna begin our C-section, which is our trailer, okay? We will begin with the upper and the lower trailer frame. Property valves are secured, now bent cracked or broken and no leak welds, okay? We're gonna look at our clearance lights, okay? Property valves secured, not chip cracked or broken, amber in color, and we will check their function when we do our ink cap, all right? We have a marker light. Property mount secured, not chip cracked or broken, amber in color, and we will check its function when we do our ink cap. Okay, and over here, we have our bulkhead. Our bulkhead, property mount secured, not bent cracked or broken, no missing rivets, okay? No missing rivets, and there are no holes, all right? We have our electrical box. Property mount secured, not bent cracked or broken, Okay, and there are no bare or, or uh, frayed wires. All right, then we'll come over here. Under here, we have what's called the apron. Apron, probably mount secured, not bent, cracked, or broken, and no legal welds. Okay, then here we have DOT tape that runs at least. 50% of the length of the trailer, okay, and it's visible. Then we have the side of the trailer. Property mount secured, not bent, cracked, or broken, all right? No missing rivets, and there are no holes, okay? Then we come here, and we have under the trailer, we have what are called our cross members, right? These are all cross members, all the way down. They are properly mounted, secured, not bent, cracked, or broken. Okay, the floor, the actual floor, is properly mounted, secured, right? Not bent, cracked, or broken, and there are no holes. Okay. Then we're going to talk about our landing gear. We have our landing gear, our support bars cross member supports there's all property mount secured not bent cracked or broken we have uh the landing gear legs and feet property mount secured not bent cracked or broken it's raised to its utmost precision and there is no debris on the feet our crank handle property mount secured not bent cracked or broken and it is in the stowed position okay then we come down the side of the trailer and we have multi-function running light. Property mount secured, not chip cracked or broken, amber in color, and it has three functions. Running light, signal light, and four-way flasher. All right? We'll come down here inside of the trailer. We have what is called our torque uh, torsion bar. Property mount secure, not bent, cracked, or broken, and it has all of its hardware. We have a stabilizer bar. Property mount secure, not bent, cracked, or broken, and it has all of its hardware. Okay? And I'm gonna get under the trailer. We're gonna talk about our braking. That's the chamber. The chamber, property mount secure, not bent, cracked, or broken. No leaks. C-clamp C -clamp is in place. Okay, C-clamp, brake chamber. And here we have slack adjuster push rod, property mount secure, not bent, cracked, or broken. Held together by the clevis pin and the cotter key. It's at a 90 degree angle because the brakes are engaged. When disengaged, there should be no more than one inch of pull. The brake airlines, property mount secured, not bent, uh, no, uh, no abrasion bubbles or cuts, not leaking. Then we have the brake drum and the brake lining, property mount secured, not bent, cracked or broken. Our lining has no less than a quarter inch of thickness. The brake drum has no illegal welds. Okay. 
And here we have the rear leaf spring hanger. Okay. Leaf springs. U bolts. U bolt. The rear leaf spring hanger. They're all probably mount secured. Not bent, cracked, or broken. The leaf springs are not shifted. The U bolts have all of its hardware on the bottom. Okay. Okay, now we're gonna go to the tires. Dual tires. We have our rear, front, rear, and front of the tires. We have the top of the tires. Okay, they're all probably mount secured. No abrasion bubbles or cuts. They're not leaking and they're not dry rotted. The tire tread depth should be no less than 230 seconds and these can be recapped. Okay, if we come back in here, we'll look at our bud space. Our bud space is free of debris and no obstructions. Okay, now we're gonna go to the front of the tire and look at our wheel, our rim. Property mount secure, not bent, cracked, or broken. No legal welds. Then we have our 10 lug nuts. Property mount secure, not bent, cracked, or broken. None are missing. There are no signs of rust trails or shiny thread that would indicate a recently removed lug nut or a loose lug nut. There are no cracks on the, on the wheel or rim that would indicate an over-tightened lug nut. We have our metal valve stem and cap dual we have one here and we have one here they're properly mount secure not bed cracked or broken and there are no leaks the caps are in place and here with a tire gauge you will check to make sure that the tire is at the uh, manufacturer specification or no less than 100 psi then we'll look at our hub seal properly mount secure not been cracked or broken, no leaks, and it has all of its hardware. Then we'll move on to our mud flap and hanger. The hanger is probably well secure, not been cracked or broken. The mud flap is probably probably well secure, not chip cracked or broken. There is adequate space between my mud flap and tire and my mud flap and the ground. Okay? Then we'll come to our ABS light, property mount secured, not chip cracked or broken, amber in color, and we'll check its function when we do our in cap. We have our marker light, property mount secured, not chip cracked or broken, red in color, and we will check its function when we do our in cap. We'll come back here, we have our tail lights, okay? Property mount secured, not chip cracked or broken, red in color. These have four functions. They are running light, turn signal, four-way flasher, and brake light. Okay? We'll check its function when we do our in-cab. We'll go to the top and we'll look at our clearance lights. Properly mount secure, not chip cracked or broken, red in color, and we will check its function when we do our in-cab. Then we have our door. Properly mount secure, not bent, cracked, or broken. There are no holes, and it should have all of its hardware on the inside. We have our door latch, properly mount secured, not bent, cracked, or broken, and in the lock position, okay? This trailer is equipped with a lift gate. So our lift gate is properly mount secured, not bent, cracked, or broken, and it is in a stowed position, and disengaged. Then we have our ICC bumper, properly mounted secured, not bent, cracked, or broken. And it has DOT tape running 100% across the bar, okay? Then we have our tag and our tag light, properly mounted secured. Our tag is not bent, cracked, or broken, and legible, and up to date. Our tag light is not chip cracked or broken, clear in color and we will check its function when we do our in cap and I will inspect 
the right side of my trailer the same as I checked the left side of the trailer. And that completes C-section.